What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a very interesting Liverpool transfer news video and in this video we will talk about Jurgen Klopp uh, talking to Philip Coutinho twice in recent weeks and Liverpool are thinking about making a loan offer for Philip Coutinho's service services to Barcelona. Coutinho right now is injured, he's out at the moment but he will be fit for the start of next season and Liverpool are thinking just until the financial situation clears up at Liverpool for one year Liverpool want to take Philip Coutinho on loan and his agent said that Foot Coutinho would love to see a Premier League return and he still has a, a soft spot for Liverpool in his heart he's still a Liverpool fan so Liverpool would be Coutinho's uh, favorite destination and Jurgen Klopp is thinking about like asking the owners to make this deal happen because Coutinho for one year I think would be a brilliant player uh, to have at Liverpool he would certainly help in terms of scoring goals getting assists uh, injecting some creativity into Liverpool's midfield even though we have Oxley Chamberlain, Naby Keita, Curtis Jones, Harvey Elliott many creative uh, goal scoring attacking midfielders most of them are injury prone or uh, in the in the shape of Curtis Jones and Harvey Elliott they are not experienced enough and Coutinho already thrived at Liverpool so why not bring him back so what do you think guys about this do you, would you want to take back Coutinho and we will have an, a, a very, very interesting interview where Jurgen Klopp actually opens up on how the Coutinho transfer happened to Barcelona in the first place and also we will have a report on Liverpool's behind closed doors played friendly against Blackburn Rovers uh, who are in the championship they are a decent team mid-table in the championship Liverpool thrashed them 6-0 so we will have that uh, in this video as well uh, I will give you guys a report on who d did what in that friendly game so guys if you enjoy these videos leave a like subscribe turn on the bell notification so you never miss the latest Liverpool and football transfer news so Coutinho is desperate for a Premier League return and Jurgen Klopp has been talking to Coutinho on, on uh, seeing what his plans are and how he feels about a Liverpool return according to some sources in the English in the British media and also for one season I think it wouldn't take uh, much financially to afford Coutinho on loan it would take between 5 to 10 million pounds and I think that's worth it Liverpool at the moment don't have the funds or the owners don't want to sanction a 50 million pound transfer for Timo Werner so Liverpool are looking at some uh, you know alternative transfers and Philip Coutinho on loan would be one transfer that could happen because Jurgen Klopp is still uh, is a big fan of Coutinho and also Coutinho's agent Kia Robchan Yorabchan, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, I'm sorry guys he gave an interview to Sky Sports saying that Philip Coutinho would love to return to the Premier League and also he still has Liverpool in his heart so first and foremost he wants to see whether Liverpool are interested in him and if not Jurgen Klopp decides against signing Coutinho on loan then he will entertain other clubs uh, offers uh, for example Chelsea, Arsenal apparently even Everton and Newcastle United are interested in taking Coutinho on a one-year loan deal at the moment I don't think any, any Premier League club wants to sign Coutinho on a permanent transfer he would cost around 50 60 million pounds and who who has that money for a 28 year old Coutinho right now in the middle of this financial crisis Coutinho's agent said this I don't have any preference where the players I represent go I don't try to push someone to one club or another everything is a possibility after the Champions League game he played in England we had a long chat about it with Coutinho about the possibility possibility of coming back to the Premier League the Premier League is something that Coutinho has always enjoyed playing in and loved playing and he would probably love to come back and play in the Premier League again the question is what are going to be the financial conditions of all the clubs including Barcelona and all the Premier League clubs at the end of this pandemic at the end of the season and I think that will largely dictate on where Coutinho goes and also Barcelona just want to get rid of Coutinho of course they would prefer permanent transfer but as I said nobody would really buy Coutinho right now uh, on a permanent transfer so I think Coutinho on loan is the be next best solution for Barcelona and now I want to tell you guys what Jurgen Klopp said about a very difficult transfer saga 
that uh, happened when Coutinho wanted to leave Liverpool to go to his dream club Barcelona and this is what Jurgen Klopp said about Coutinho leaving Liverpool in the first place I really respected Phil Coutinho's switch and transfer from the first second not that I do that all the time but it felt oh wow that could be difficult when Barcelona came in and showed massive interest to, for Coutinho so it's not about yes we signed a new contract so many weeks before but it was really clear he would not ha have asked me for any other club but for this club and there was no chance of keeping him then we had to be hard in the summer because we had no other solution we lost Adam Lallana to injury in that time as well we would have lost two players if Coutinho left to Barcelona so basically Jurgen Klopp is saying here Liverpool said to Coutinho no you are not going anywhere in the summer and then he basically threw his toys out of the pram if you like and sulked and also he faked a back injury I believe and he refused to train in January and, and at that time Jurgen Klopp's hands were tied he had to sanction the move because Coutinho could have become toxic in the Liverpool dressing room and I think Liverpool improved tenfold when Coutinho left because with the money we signed Van Dijk and then we signed Alisson and other big players, Naby Keita as well and just Liverpool just went like this and Coutinho's career went like this in the opposite direction. So Jurgen Klopp is saying if Liverpool lost Adam Lallana and Philip Coutinho in the same transfer window that's not possible, you cannot solve that on the transfer market he was open, Coutinho, to say, staying and that was really cool in that summer. Then you have to be fair in the window, in the transfer window of January and say we can do it, we don't like it, but we can do it, we can sell Coutinho to Barcelona. And Coutinho had a great career at Liverpool, having 201 appearances across 5 years, scoring 54 goals and I would love to see Coutinho back at Liverpool, but only if it's a sensible like one year loan. I don't want Liverpool to spend like 40, 50 million on, on a 28 year old Coutinho who maybe lost his spark a little bit, which could be reignited at Liverpool. But also, you could argue that Liverpool moved on from the Coutinho sale and maybe we don't desperately need him. And that's the view of many Liverpool fans actually. The Liverpool Echo collected some fan opinions and one of them, one of the Liverpool fans said, no thanks to Coutinho, I will play Curtis Jones any day instead of him. So there is an argument that if you sign Coutinho and bring him back on loan you would hinder the progress of the likes of Curtis Jones, Harvey Elliott and it's better to develop those young players than giving Coutinho playing time as a 20 years old and also basically you are developing Coutinho for another club and rehabilitating his career because at the end of the season he will go back to Barcelona and then sign for any other club. Another, cl another Liverpool fan said, we don't need him, he's 28, FSG wouldn't pay the money for a player of this age now, better to bring in quality potential. And another Liverpool fan said, no we don't need Philip Coutinho's wage bill, which would be pretty high and you could argue, is Coutinho worth those kind of wages? Well. The problem is we don't know what kind of contribution Coutinho would have in this Liverpool team. He could score 15 goals and get 15 assists in the Premier League next season. You just never know. I would maybe prefer to play Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, Naby Keita instead of Coutinho in the Liverpool midfield when we need goals and creativity. And Naby Keita had an absolute storming game against Blackburn Rovers where he scored a goal, got an assist and he was man of the match, he played for 60 minutes and he was unplayable. The touches that he did, the dribbling, there is a moment where he just nutmegs a defender or a midfielder and sprays a through ball inch perfectly to Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain's path and it's a shame that he just can't put it into the net because the goalkeeper saved the chance. But I want to offer you guys some other fan opinions as well. One Liverpool fan said, yes, I would take him back. He made a mistake and he has learned his lesson. We all make mistakes as he knows that now. I do miss him to be fair. We don't need him but it would be lovely to have him back if he could get to where he was staying at Liverpool back in the day and that's the problem we don't know you don't know which version of the Coutinho you are getting are you getting the Barcelona version I, th I don't think so that's like the worst case scenario Barcelona was never like tailored tactically to Coutinho's uh, player profile 
You could get the Bayern Munich version, which is like between the Barcelona version and the Liverpool version of Coutinho, so in between, somewhere. Or you could get the prime Coutinho that was absolutely scintillating in his last like six months at Liverpool. He scored like like almost 15 goals or something like that and got a lot of assists as well. I may be judging this a little bit coming from an emotional point of view because I, Coutinho was one of my favorite players at Liverpool. I had a very strong connection with him, just like with Fernando Torres. It really hurt when he left, but I have forgiven him. Football is a ruthless business, so I don't hold personal grudges anymore to any player. And if he would love to come back to Liverpool, I mean, if Liverpool can afford it financially, we would be stronger with Coutinho than without him, I think. Just we, have, we would have more options next season. And I, I, I have this worry that if Mane, Salah or Firmino gets injured, we wouldn't have a like-for-like quality replacement for them. Coutinho would be that guy. Coutinho could play on the left wing instead of Mane or uh, on the right wing instead of Salah and contribute massively to this Liverpool team still. And Coutinho said that he would have not have left for any other club but Barcelona because Barcelona was something different for him. It was his dream to play for this club. It's a place of magic for Coutinho and you can understand he is a Brazilian. He was growing up idolizing players like the Brazilian Ronaldo and Ronaldinho and the bo they both played for Barcelona and especially Ronaldinho was an absolutely incredible player for Barcelona and I can understand why many Brazilian footballers became Barcelona fans growing up watching Ronaldinho play for Barcelona and actually this dream move two and a half years on has become almost like a nightmare because Barcelona want nothing to do with Coutinho the fans booed him many times even at the end of his first season in Barcelona. I mean, he played for six months and then he had the first proper full season. So maybe in his second season, uh, in one and a half years, the Barcelona fans basically grew to hate Coutinho. And I felt a little bit sorry for him because that Barcelona team tactically wasn't just wasn't suited for Coutinho. The Barcelona board or whoever sanctioned that transfer just didn't know what they were doing signing Coutinho and then not finding him a specific role in the team where he would thrive in you just wasted 140 million pounds basically uh, on a player he's worth around a, he was worth at that time around 100 million but you never got the best out of Coutinho because you were tailoring your team to Messi and Suarez and I don't really blame, blame Barcelona but at the same time they really should have done more research on what kind of a player Coutinho is and what kind of a system would be perfect for Coutinho to bring the best out of him. Otherwise, why on earth would you spend 140 million pounds on a player when you don't even utilize him correctly, you don't even bring the best out of him? Then that's what really annoyed me about Coutinho's one and a half years at Bayern Munich. He also was a, like a bit part player. He started quite a lot of games, but against smaller sides he scored, he got assists against the bigger teams, against the bot top half of the Bundesliga, he hardly did anything. So the Bayern fans and the Bayern hierarchy weren't desperate to keep Coutinho either. So it's a sorry tale of what a lot of things can go wrong, even for a world-class player if you make the wrong transfer to the long, wrong club. And Barcelona are an amazing club. It was wrong for Coutinho because Barcelona didn't make uh, their tactics to suit Coutinho. But Coutinho would never know that in advance, of course. He can't, uh, can't see the future, nobody can. So it was obvious that Coutinho just followed his heart and he went where his heart wanted to be. Who, who knows where Coutinho will end up next season. It will be very interesting. And I'm very happy to report to you guys that Liverpool have ramped up their preparations for the Premier League return in a 6-0 win. But shall I say demolition job of Blackburn Rovers where we absolutely routed them. Sadio Mane fired Liverpool in front inside 10, 10 minutes. I think it was a shot by Alexis Chamberlain, which the goalkeeper parries and Mane just tucks it home into the empty net. Uh, which was a great start for Liverpool and then Takumi Minamino laid on the second for Nabi Keita 
because before Naby Keita also scored another goal he's he nodded home Mane's cross before half time and the second half actually was interesting because Liverpool changed a lot of players like almost eight or nine players were substituted at half time but still in the second half Liverpool also scored three goals and Joel Matip, Kiana Hoever and Leighton Clarkson the youngster got uh, goals and Matip and Hoover are defenders. Kiana Hoover's uh, goal was absolute class. If you have LFC TV subscription, make sure to watch it because it, it's an absolutely incredible goal. And Jurgen Klopp said this after that preseason, preseason friendly kind of. It was not only a workout for us, it was a really important test. We wanted the players to go for 90 minutes, but because of a few little issues, we couldn't do that, so we didn't have enough like first team players, I would say. So that's why we decided to let three players go for 60 minutes and one of them was Nabi Keita. That's okay, it looked really good, obviously. It looked pretty much from the beginning really, really good. You have to get used to, again to playing against a deep defending side and tactics like this. Blackburn had a playing build up from time to time so we could work on the high press as well. So the counter press was brilliant, the football was really good, the goals were nice, it was a really good afternoon. I'm really thankful that Blackburn came here and we could do that, so I wish them all the best. So it was a very good workout, warm up for the proper Premier League season and I can't wait until the Goodison Park Derby, the Goodison Derby kicks off on Saturday or Sunday next weekend, which is going to be really, really awesome. But this weekend already, La Liga and Bundesliga are on TV so I will not be bored on with the weekend that's for sure and Arsenal actually got an embarrassing defeat uh, at home to Brentford they lost 3-2 after being 2-1 up I think which was pretty pretty shocking that Arsenal would lose to a championship side and some of the goals that they conceded were just laughable and Tony Mowbray, the Blackburn manager, said some very interesting things after playing Liverpool. This is what he said, an opportunity to play Liverpool is something that you can't turn down in my opinion. You can sit there, be clever and think about them being the best team in the world and it could knock your confidence. But the mindset of the players is that they would all want to go and play at Anfield. They would all want to test themselves against the very best in the world. The likes of Van Dijk, Firmino, Mane all played. It was a great experience for us. I think it highlighted to us where the very best uh, players are and uh, the Blackburn manager also praised this relentless machine of Liverpool and he says that Jurgen Klopp uh, also sold the value in the fixture. We all saw that game and I have to be careful that I don't judge my own players of the standard of that opposition because they are a pressing machine. You can't play your own game because Liverpool don't let you have free passes. It's amazing to watch the machine that they are. It was a comp competitive game of football and I spoke to Jurgen after the game who understands that it wasn't just a friendly match. We are both getting ready, we are both intense and there certainly were benefits of playing the game for us. So I think that's a very fair and very good interview by um, the Blackburn manager and you could see how much respect fellow managers have for this Liverpool side who are the best in the Premier League right now and also fresh news Liverpool will not extend Nathan Cli Nathaniel Klein's contract beyond June the 30th so even if the Premier League season goes on longer Klein is free to leave Liverpool which is a shame but we already knew that he's leaving at the end of the season but they didn't exercise the option of extending his contract like they did with Adam Lalana. And also Fabio Aurelio, the former Brazilian Liverpool left back, said this about Andy Robertson, Liverpool's current left back. He is kind of the complete player because physically he's well capable of going forward and go going back he defends very well. He's quick so his one-on-one -on -one is good. Defensively that's very important in the scheme of Jurgen Klopp where how Jurgen Klopp plays. He goes forward very easily. One thing that calls my attention is that he's always improving. He's not comfortable in his current situation being first choice. You will see that in every game he plays uh, as his, his last one. So that's courage. The two fullbacks of Liverpool right now are unbelievable. We can contest in any kind of way. And I, I just love it that, that Fabio Aria thinks that this Liverpool team is, especially the fullbacks, are unbelievable. And I fully agree with him. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this Liverpool transfer news video. It was a lot of fun to make. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Goodbye.